plaintiff, James Brown, has a 12-year-old daughter with the defendant, but he admits that their relationship ended after he cheated and got another woman pregnant. James is suing his ex-girlfriend for an unpaid loan. Defendant Jennifer Perkins says her relationship with James was toxic because he not only cheated, but he also abused prescription pills. Jennifer claims after James went to prison, things were different. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Start with you. Uh, well, I've been knowing and defending Jennifer Perkins for 13 years now. We have a 12-year-old daughter. And um, everything started out good. I mean, we had a good relationship up until uh, I ended up cheating on her and having a, a baby with another woman. And um, that didn't sit well with Ms. Perkins. So we ended up calling it quit. How but, long after? Uh, I bet she remembers. <laughs> How long after you had a child outside of your relationship did you all break it off? Um, we broke it off about a year after, but the mm -hmm. it continued to, we continued to dabble with each other, so. Mm -hmm. So after the year and you all broke up, did you ever resume the relationship? Uh, we tried a few times, I, I believe. Okay. Let me hear from you. Give me some background. Um, like James said, that we've been knowing each other off and off for 13 years. Uh, we do have a 12-year-old daughter together. Um, like he said, the relationship ended because he was cheating and he used to take pills. And um, so the relationship was real toxic. Um, he winded up going to prison. And when he went to prison... What type of pills? Percocet? Uh, Xanax. Mm -hmm. So he went to prison, but and when he got out of prison, is that what you're doing taking Xanax? <laughs> I, I might have popped a couple of pills. I wouldn't know. All right, go ahead. So he, um, he, like I said, he went to prison and he wound up um, when he got out in 2015. He went and got out in 2016. Um, he, he, he was on a straight and narrow. He worked, you know. He, um. He don't take pills as far as I know anymore. Um, and okay, it's like good. prison did him some good, so. Good. All right, and why are you suing us, sir? Uh, for unpaid, I, I had um, loaned her $576 for uh, rent. When was she to repay? Uh, after she sold uh, her puppies, she had a litter of puppies and she was supposed to uh, pay me right after. That's a new one. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's better tax. than the income tax. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they can tug at the heart with that one. Pretty good. But like I say, I I never received it. So Okay. And when is the last time you all spoke about it? Well it's been a few months ago I asked. What her did she about say? That she she didn't have it. Okay, and was there a time frame? Did she say, I'll start trying to sell them? Was the litter there? Were the puppies already delivered? Well, the puppies was there because I seen them, and she said she was going to start selling them after they wing off the mother. And they when was, would that have been? Uh, four weeks, I believe. The reason I'm getting to that is because, yeah, she had to have a reasonable amount of time. Uh, yes, otherwise, she's not in violation. However, yeah, going back... Um, those many months is a reasonable amount of time to have sold them, and you, she didn't sell them, obviously, to your knowledge. She ain't got them. Ma'am, what do you say? Okay. With the puppies, I didn't... I sold one what puppy. What was the agreement? The the agreement was that I sell the puppy. That he would uh, loan you money for your rent in exchange and he for... He actually paid it for me. He paid the, the money that I was behind as on a loan. the rent. Right. Okay, he loaned you money for your rent, right. and you would repay him after selling the puppies, right. just as he said. Correct. All right. And um, I only wound up selling one puppy. Okay. And how much? And $150. Okay. You give him that? No. I so just why didn't you give him this him, money? 
because I needed that money, I thought that if I get the dogs the shots, it would be easier for me to sell them. So I told him that I was going to take partial of that money to take the, the rest of the puppies that I had and take them to get their shots. But they still didn't sell. Where but they at now? I just start giving them away to people. Why? Because I didn't have, I didn't want to just, I didn't know what else to do with the puppies. Waiting until they're sold, like everybody else that breeds or holds on the dog. So you, well, you I didn't were breeding breed the them. puppies. Pardon me? I didn't breed the dog. Somebody gave me the dog, and when they gave me the dog, the dog was pregnant, and they didn't tell me. And then she had puppies, and when she had And the you puppies, intended to keep or sell? I intended to sell, but like I said, they didn't sell, so I just started giving them to my sister's friends. I don't know enough about breeding as to how long you keep dogs it's or six puppies. six to eight weeks. Six to eight weeks before they wing from their parents. All right, but I'm saying how long you keep them before it is unreasonable. In other words, if you'd have kept them for a year, what would have been the problem? Oh, no. If you'd have been trying had... to sell them for a year and kept them, what would be the problem there? She, she had a litter of 10. How much did you sell them for? 150. Right. So that would have been uh, about three, maybe four. So you didn't have to sell all 10. All you had to sell is three or four to give them his money. Right. And you sold one? Right. And you stopped selling them because you just got lazy. I'm no, just tired of selling them. I couldn't sell them. We put information on Facebook. My sister did. I did. Nobody wanted to buy the pit bulls. Yeah, but you only gave yourself a limited amount of time. I kept them for till they were big and started chewing up my house. How long is that? Oh, four months. Yeah, four months doesn't sound like a long time to give yourself to sell some puppies uh, that are there, if you, particularly if you have 10. I mean, when do you expect? You thought you'd sell all 10 in four months? No. Right. But me so and you Jane, knew you would still have them after four months? Well, I actually thought they were going to sell pretty quick, but... Pardon me? I thought they were going to sell pretty quick. So you did think all 10 would be sold within four months? Yes, or at least majority of them. Meaning you still have... A little less than the majority. Uh -huh. And so, if you would still have a little less than the majority, why did you give them away if you knew I, that I you would three. still have them? I kept three. I kept three puppies. You still have them? Yes. Why didn't you sell them? You doing all that? I, I wanted to. Where's the man's money? Oh, you wanted to keep it. You wanted to keep the puppies and the money. Gotcha. That's why he's suing you. Makes sense. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Judgment for the plaintiff, $576. Have a good day. I mean, I'm nothing. I mean, we just continue to co-parent and... I wish we wouldn't have to come here, you know, to, to settle that, but we did. He's still the father of my child, so we're still okay.